Hi there, my shiny lights. It is Monday, June 20th. So let's talk about a quick topic. Um, what do you do when you become overwhelmed? So what I do when I become overwhelmed, I have to pause. I get quiet. I have to analyze. I have to start thinking about what it is that has me overwhelmed and if it is even worth me being frustrated over or overwhelmed about. So I went online, great site, um, chopra.com, C-H-O-P-R-A.com, and I had did a web search, what to do when you are overwhelmed. And it brought me up to this very good website. Um, they actually do retreats. They do, um, they have um, a lot of articles about meditation and well-being. Um, you can get an app. And also they have courses that you can take that gives you um, a little bit more knowledge on these different topics. But it's actually a wonderful site to check some things out on. So let's start with number one that they say is um, in the top 10. Prioritize self-care. Now I'm going to give you my thoughts about each one. Um, and you can also go online and read what they actually said. So prioritize self-care. How can you be any good to anyone or give back if your glasses have empty people? Take time to replenish your mind, body, and soul. Now, number two, shift your perspective. Self-explanatory, right? How do you view things? Perhaps you viewed something negatively or perhaps it was viewed positively, but it turned out to be not as you perceived it. Know when to take things seriously and when to let them go. Now, and that also includes with people, situations and people. Some people run their course of time in your life, so let it be. Number three, breathe deeply. This is one of my favorites because there has been times throughout the day that I have had to take a deep breath. So, and I also do have um, this mindfulness app installed on my, my watch. So it tells me, hey, get up, stand up, time to breathe. And then also I'll do the seven reps of breathing. And I can say it helps throughout the day as we do not realize just how much of our minds are given away to other entities of life and other things that really consume our minds. Learn to breathe and focus and reanalyze and clear your thoughts throughout the day. Number four, meditation. You could do this on your breaks. You could do this at home, get in a hot tub, lay in your bed, whatever. Oh, go out on your lawn with a blanket and just meditate. I like to take time away, even if it's just a few minutes. I close my eyes, I breathe, I think of tranquility and peace. This calms me even when I am not overwhelmed. I take time to focus on me and my thoughts. All right, number five, slow down and manage your time. How many people know when to do this? Be mindful of how much time you spend doing anything in life. If I didn't manage my time, my goodness, my life would be a wreck. I have a lot going on, but it is fine. So number six, move mindfully. Now, what does that really mean? Um, I like to exercise at the gym, however, if I don't make it to the gym, there's other things I can do. I do yoga every day. I do squats every day. Um, it's a stress reliever, to be honest with you. It's a way to stay in tune with your body and also tone and fit, to be honest. Um, it also allows my body to energize when necessary and also to wind down and rest. Have you ever worked out and you had so much energy afterwards? <laughs> I have. And sometimes I, if I work out too late, I'll have trouble going to sleep. And then sometimes I work out and my body just wants to rest. It has, it has to get, um, the my body has to be restored of energy. So sometimes working out makes me want to go to sleep, which is fine. Just know that you have to absolutely move mindfully. Number seven, unplug, go on a digital fast. I cannot stress this enough. I personally fast um, from food because it gives me great discipline and it's also a part of my spiritual sacrifices to God. So when they say unplug and go on a digital fast, my goodness, this one is so necessary. Some people spend hours on top of hours, on top of days, on top of months online. Total internet junkies. How many of you TikTok? 
till you dropped. <laughs> Take a break from these activities and focus on yourself and life. I have never downloaded the app and I, and I hate, you know, I really don't watch a lot of TV, but I find myself getting away from watching a lot of trash TV and now my focus is different. Um, so unplug your mind away from foolishness from time to time. And I'm not saying because you went on TikTok and watched a TikTok video, then you're foolish. I'm not even saying that because some people like to take things out of content. Take time away from social stuff because it is draining. You just don't know it's draining, but it's draining. So just take a break from it. Walk away. Now, this is one that is very important. You want to get plenty of sleep. This is self-explanatory. I would say you should get no less than six hours of sleep a night. No, I am not a doctor or a sleep specialist, none of that. However, if you are not sleeping well at night, please get some professional help. Sleep is an important part of your healthy lifestyle. You should care about yourself, so you should get plenty of sleep. Now, number nine, know when to walk away from overwhelming situations. I have had to walk away from people, places, and things. Just know when something runs its course and it leaves you confused in your thoughts, leave it alone. Have you ever been accused of doing something you have no guilt in? Yes, I have. And because of that, I have had to walk away from many situations and people. Being accused, <laughs> and I'm just not with it. So walk away from it if it becomes overwhelming for you. Just walk away. And finally, their number 10 is to surrender. I love this one. Have you ever had to just say, forget it? <laughs> or have you ever heard the song, I Surrender All? Well, let me just say, you are not a failure because you decide to not participate in any longer in the activity or a person. Sometimes things are bigger than you can handle. It is okay to know when to step away and leave it. All right, so check out this website is nice, the website, um, chopper.com, C-H-O-P-R-A.com, for their very good articles. They have nutrition, they have recipes, meditation tips, yoga, exercise, and there's retreats, as I mentioned before, um, person, personal growth activities. Um, you can even get um, coaching, meditation, and health certificate info on this site as well. So here's a note to you, my shiny lights. Be mindful of how important you are. Love yourself and be well. I love you guys. And with my love, I shall conquer all.